In front of me is Gary, how do you pronounce your last name? Romine. Gary Romine, he's running for the state senate. And he, is it still the third district? It's the third district. It's picked up a little bit more of Jefferson okay. County now. And so how far up does it go in Jefferson County? It uh, picks up all of DeSoto and Hillsboro area. Okay, so we're basically uh, across Highway 8 south. Yes. Okay. Uh, Gary, uh, for limited government, government, I would assume, Fiscal Republican? responsibility, limited government, correct. Yes, we've got to gotta make, make sure we control our expenses and uh, keep government as local as possible, reduce the amount of state and federal government as much as possible. Uh, Tenth Amendment, uh, you're really on that? or? State sovereignty is very important. We've got to maintain, we can, federal government hasn't proved they can run anything efficiently. And the more they try to mandate to us, the worse it gets. So the states need to be able to control their own destiny. Yeah, you know, I mean, what I've experienced over the years is it seems like there's two sets of laws. There's an administrative set of law and the constitutional set of law. Yeah. And we use this administra administrative law to regulate and put people out of business, basically. Well, I'm a small business owner, and I see the burdens of the regulations and the the taxes, the, uh, the, the without tort reform, uh, the burdens of uh, frivolous lawsuits, and it's just the environment's not conducive for good economic growth at this time. We've now, you're not a good. lawyer by trade, are you? Oh, absolutely not. Okay, yeah. You know, I, I feel that one of the problems is you have lawyers making laws. Well, and that's the reason why I, I like uh, the opportunity as a businessman to be elected and go to Jeff City as a small business owner and, and, and put a business perspective in the legislative process. Any judicial reforms that are you concerned about? I mean, you got a lot of people sitting in jail for nonviolent, what I call victimless offenses, and while we have rapists and murderers and child molesters being, I mean, why is there even a sex offenders list as opposed to these being people being locked away? You know? The most important thing I think we can do is, uh, I mean, right now they have the monitoring bracelets. They've got other forms of house arrest that could be more conducive to the non-threatening or non-critical yeah. uh, uh, criminals that we can we can have other sources or ways to. Uh, yeah, they need to be going to church, really. Yeah, yeah well, <laughs> you know. community service, yeah, uh, house yeah. arrest. I mean, there's things that can be done. Uh, I don't know. Civil liberties is making it a, a, an offense to require prisoners to clean up the highways anymore. I mean, that's. Yeah, I sat in the jail in St. Francis County for 30 days for contempt of court. I would have more than happily went out and cleaned up whatever just to get out of jail. You know? I hear you. I hear you. You know, I mean, so take it for what it's worth, you know, I mean, but, uh, well, Gary, I wish you luck. Now, who's your opponent? Uh, in the primary, I'll yeah. be running against Terry Barner. Okay. Uh, then in the general election, it'll be uh, Joe Fowler, the state rep. Out okay, of, uh, uh, so out of St. Genevieve, yes, right? Sir. Yeah, okay. And uh, Joe's been in the, was a state rep before, and yeah, now he's, he's running, he's and he's term limited. Well, he's got two more years, but he decided it's uh, go ahead and go for it now. Well, I, I, Gary, I think you'll do well. I well, really do. I mean, as I long as you're for that. the small businessman with this Obama thing, um, oh, we got to we got to stop that every chance we get. We yeah, got, uh, we cannot afford what they're trying to do with the uh, Affordable Health Care Act, Obamacare, however you want to call it. Yeah, it, it's a problem. Well, you know, uh, we got fairly decent health insurance. My wife's a teamster. But um, it's even going to raise our rates. Yeah. It's astronomical. I mean, they, they take yeah, the, well, We're already getting quoted on our new insurance, and it's ridiculous. Well, yeah, you're not going to be able to afford to, to, to employ more, they're, even they're more forcing people. forcing us to try to take the, the national health care so Yeah. we got to fight it. We okay. Fight it. Well, that's Gary Romine, and he's running for state senate in the 3rd District, and uh, he's in DeSoto here today. And God bless you, Gary. Thank you very much.